So when it comes to investment returns, a lot of people jump into investing without really thinking out what their target is or what they want to achieve. And what I tell people is a great aspiration to have is to try to double your money. Now the initial feedback is a raised eyebrow. How can I do that? Isn't that too risky? Isn't that overreaching? And I say no, not necessarily, uh, because there's something that I learned uh, a while ago that stuck with me. Uh, it was taught to me by my mentor, and it's basically the principle to double your money. It's a way to double your money, uh, and it's a system and a measurement to think about doubling your money. It's called the Rule of 72. And the Rule of 72 says uh, that you take the number 72, you divide it by the number of years that you're willing to wait to double your money, and that will give you the compounded return or the average return you need every year. This is very, very important. And let's go to the history of this rule of 72. It's not something that I've come up with. It was actually developed by Luca Pacioli. Uh, who was Luca Pacioli? He was an Italian mathematician uh, in the 15th century. Uh, somebody that was very close to da Vinci, was a Fran Franciscan friar, uh, and somebody very well known in academia. And the first reference uh, was in the late 1400s uh, where Pacioli started talking about the rule of 72. It's a concept that many investors have used. Some of the smartest investors I use always use it as an initial reference point. So let's go back to it again. Take the number 72 and divide it by the number of years that you're willing to wait. So if, for example, we divide 72 by 10 years, it gives you a compound return of about 7.2%. You need that 7.2% every year for the next 10 years compounding in order to double your money. So if you take a $1,000 investment uh, and you seek a 7.2% return as an average over that period of time, you will, according to the rule of 72, double that $1,000 investment to $2,000 because of the power of compounding interest. Now, guys, this is very important because this is the way that the smart investors go out and invest. They don't go out there and seek 20, 30, 50% returns in a short period of time. They know that they're going to get there, but what they do is they give themselves more time. And that means they make more sensible decisions, less desperation, and that gets them out of trouble when markets do come down. That's an average over a period of time. Uh, the more time you're willing to give yourself, if you're a young person, for example, and you give yourself 20 years, then you have a return, the required return you need to double your money is down to about 3.5%, maybe slightly higher. A lot of people jump into markets and give themselves two years. You know, if you divide 72 by the number of two, guess what? You have to go out there and seek a compound return of 36%. Now, that's very, very unrealistic. That's where you open yourself up to risk. So hopefully, this has illustrated to you a very quick way, uh, a very simple way uh, to think about your investment returns. Hopefully, try to put into, into plan a way to double your money. And what I'd like you to do, if you want more insights like this, is to sign up to our premium content list. We don't charge for, in, for any of that. It's all free. You'll get access to thoughts like this on a weekly basis. And hopefully, that, you'll put, that will position you uh, in a very good place in order to build your portfolio, regardless of what you're investing in. Thanks for your time.